Diets fail because we live in a world that's designed to make them fail. We are literally surrounded by processed foods that hijack our brain's reward circuits and make it nearly impossible to resist them for any extended period of time. We're hardwired to seek pleasure and processed foods are designed to provide it. Once our brains get hooked on that pleasure, they're not gonna give it up without a fight. And if we start to become obese, things become even more difficult. Obesity causes a lot of changes in our body, but it also causes a lot of changes in our brains. It makes it difficult for our brains to properly regulate our hunger. In fact, things start working exactly in reverse. When we're obese, even though we have all this stored energy in our body, our brains think we're starving, and so they fight hard against any attempt to cut calories. Things were completely different for our ancestors. For them, food was really about energy. They lived in a world where food was scarce and there was a real risk of starving, so they had to constantly be seeking it. So their brains, which are now our brains, evolved to have a huge response to foods that are energy dense, because for them, these foods were rare and valuable. But for us, of course, things are totally different today. We have energy dense foods everywhere, and most of us who live in the UK are lucky enough to have more food than we could ever need. So for us, eating really isn't about energy at all anymore, it's about pleasure. I could spend a week talking about gut bacteria. They do all kinds of incredible things that are important for our health. For example, they make chemicals that we need. Vitamin B12, for example, we can't get it from our food ourselves. We need our bacteria to get it from our food for us. But the really important thing that our gut bacteria do is regulate our immune system. Our gut is where the outside world meets the inside of our body. And our gut bacteria and immune system work together to figure out what should get into our body and what shouldn't. When our gut bacteria are disrupted, our immune system gets confused and everything gets out of control. So for example, certain things might start getting into the body that shouldn't and we can end up with an infection. Or on the other side of things, our immune system might start attacking things that are actually harmless. That's what an allergy is. It's when your immune system overreacts to something that really isn't dangerous. So all the food allergies that people have nowadays are a result of the fact that we're not taking good care of our gut bacteria and our immune system is ending up confused. There's nothing wrong with nuts or gluten or any of these other things. It's just that our immune system is attacking them needlessly. 